Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and it looks like we need to go back into town because... Why is it called Strangers if it has... Okay, so let's go talk to Trelawney in town, so... We didn't have a bounty last time, but they made us do the worst robbery in the world last time, so we got in a giant shootout, so... We're wanted by the law again, which is awesome, but anyways, I'm not sure what the next mission is because we're supposed to be robbing the bank because that's what I said in my mutterings last time, so I was pretty sure that's what would happen, so I'm not sure why we're going to Trelawney about a fairy, so... I'll see you guys when we get there. That $165 bounty gave me $15, in case you were wondering. I'm s Stop it! Put down the gun! I'm surrendering, you dick! Wanna bet? What's the matter? You were about to shear me four seconds ago, remember? Bullshit, you need help. I'm clearly not a threat to you. These cops need help, on the other hand. I'm sorry, you were saying, officer? And the town is still under lockdown, so that's awesome. I guess what I did wasn't really small. It's just we didn't get away with any money. We went on a shootout all through the town, so... I'm actually not pissed that it's still under lockdown after like two days. And besides, we still have that mission for Dutch. So it looks like we're only going to be doing one mission this episode, because that town's full of dickheads. What you doing there, bud? Arthur, okay. Here. At least he's not gonna jump. If he did, he should at least do a flip. I'm going to jump! No! Wow. Do a flip! Dutch, don't do it. You have so much to live. Uh, everybody, lo um, don't do it, Dutch. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches, but deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the. I want revenge. It's about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town, a bank that he no doubt protects, a town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. You just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yes. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubt. Hey, remember when you were sure about that being the best loot that we could possibly get last time? Look how that worked out, dick. We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need I don't know the back of my hand that well. I don't know why people always say they know the stuff like the back of their hand. Like, I'm familiar with it. 
If it was suddenly gone, I think I would notice. If it changed color, I would know pretty quickly. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. I actually did forget that was him. If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Dutch is manipulative as shit. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. No! Over this way! That must be him. There's an alligator in the water, isn't there? Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. I thought a monster. so. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Been nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Big as I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. Thank God. Shit. Shit. He won't kill No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, thank you very much. Don't look behind you, just keep moving forward. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't have looked back. I should just keep going. I uh, yes, I'm a medical professional. Be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. Um, there's stuff. 
Welly, 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 well. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You'll be safe. We got monsters out here. <sighs> well, monsters I'm fine with. I live with them. Okay, well, this is where I'll leave this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We could only do one mission because that other town was trying to arrest us every time we stepped foot there. So, if you liked it, like it and subscribe. And if you didn't, comment down below how I can make it better. Also, you guys should follow my Twitter, which is in the description down below. I tweet once a day, and normally it's a joke. So, follow that for a little bit of bonus jokes and content and also you can participate in polls if you follow my twitter so that's in the description down below so i'll see you guys in the next episode bye Tonight was born to fight